Bonjour, je suis Marie, and today I'm filming this very festive, beautiful makeup look. It has a bunch of glitters on the face. It's kind of neutral, but then the eyes are really sparkly and pretty. I even put some stars in my inner corners. You could totally go out and wear this if you're one of those festive, glittery, fun people like me. So if you guys like what you see, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell so that you guys know when I upload. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get started. So I hope you guys enjoy my little setup in the background. Um, I have my tree, my nutcracker, and my bouquet, and then I dressed them all up with some little Christmas lights. Really cute. That is our attempt at a Christmas um, theme today. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna moisturize my hands because I don't like crusty hands. This is the Victoria's Secret Pink Hibiscus Hand Cream. Throw this in my purse when I need just a little bit of moisturizing because I don't like dry hands. It's such a big pet peeve of mine. So first thing we're gonna do use toner because I feel like my moisturizer sits on my face better. So this is the COSRX Clarifying Treatment Toner. And you're just going to spray that everywhere because my moisturizer tends to sit better when I put this on before. And then for moisturizer, I'm going to use the Human Nature Night Moisturizer. And what I love about this is it's 100% natural, has jojoba and plant collagen, and they're locally sourced. So I just put like a little bit on my hands, rub that in and then put that all over my face. I have combination skin, so I have dry and oily skin, um, but most people would think that putting moisturizer would make your skin more oily. That's not true. Your skin would compensate for the dryness of it, so it would actually create more oil on your face, which means you should use moisturizer regardless of your regardless of how oily your skin is. I am also using this moisturizer because I don't have any other moisturizer. We used to have the day moisturizer, but like, this is the only one I had lying around, so. Human nature, smells good, and I love it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prime the skin. This is the Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Primer. I'm just gonna put a small pea-sized amount, like that much, actually that's a lot. That is too much. I also don't like packing on too much product on my face. But since um, I already put like toner and the moisturizer, I know that my skin is protected and yeah. So make sure you get that everywhere. Next thing we're gonna do is a foundation. So this is the Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup. Makeup. This is the Neutrogena Shine Control Broad Spectrum Protection SPF 20. It has a rice protein complex. This is in the shade Natural Ivory. So I'm just gonna put some on my hand like this. The only thing I don't like about, I didn't even know that Neutrogena made foundation until like I saw this product. I'm gonna put a bit like this. Put it onto my face. I need a bit more. Get that even skin tone going. I also have my mirror here on the side. So if you see me looking here, it's because of my mirror. Wow, my scar looks kind of crazy today, like it's really popping out. I also have some spots here. Haven't been sleeping properly lately because of like Christmas parties, birthday parties. Two of my cousins have their birthdays this Christmas, so we went out the other night with our whole family actually. It was really fun. Make sure you bring it down to your neck and always like apply product upwards because you don't want your skin to sag. You can even bring it down to your neck a little bit and also your ears because sometimes your ears tend to get red. This is my beauty blender. It goes on my face so it's fine you guys. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. Is this Full Wear? Yeah. L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and I mentioned this in my November Favorites video. I love that it has this really big doe foot applicator. It just makes application so easy and it's a good dupe for Tarte's Shape Tape, if you guys are on a little bit of a budget. I'm also gonna apply some on my lids to evenly cover up any veins or redness that I have. Cover up my scar a little bit, just a little bit. And all the spots that I have on my chin, goodness gravy, what is going on? Sometimes I like like chit chatty videos, other times I prefer just doing like a voiceover because it's just faster. When I talk, it takes me like 500 years. So the next thing we're gonna use is 
<clears throat> the L'Oreal Brow Art. Oh my goodness. The L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert. Uh, what is this called? Eyebrow pencil. I'm just gonna shape my brows nicely. I really like it because it has a nice spoolie. I don't like eyebrow pencils that don't have like a really dirty spoolie because you can't brush through your brows. Like, what's the point? So I like a tiny bit of an arch just so that my brows have more shape. As you can see the difference. I just fill it in a little bit. But I don't like it to be too perfect. Like, I don't like sharpie brows. I don't like fully made brows. I actually like it when the hairs are a little bit messy and they're, they kind of stick out a little bit because to me, when I apply makeup, I like it when it looks just a little bit messy and unplanned and kind of just like you threw it on your face, if that makes sense. I don't like it when it looks too spiffy or too perfect. But as we all know, it's difficult to perfect brows anyway, so it's fine if it's not too perfect. And then we're going to set that with some eyebrow uh, gel. This is the Fashion 21. Fashion 21 eyebrow gel. I bought this in Landmark for like 150 I think because they were on sale. So this is just gonna set the brows. It gives them a tiny bit of a tint. Matches my hair a little bit better too. So now moving on to the eyes. I think I'm just going to um, fast forward through this uh, but I'm gonna show you the shades that I use because it's kind of hard to like do um, my eye makeup and talk to you guys. So I'm just gonna be using these two palettes today. These are both Urban Decay. One is the Naked Smoky and the other one is the Nocturnal palette. So I'll just show you guys what colors I use, but I'll speed through this.